This is Mr. Masonette, and today we are going to practice finding the slope of a line that passes through the points negative 4, negative 4, and positive 8, positive 4. And to do this, we are going to use the slope formula. The slope formula can be defined as the change in y values of a straight line as compared to the change in x values of a straight line. And the change in y values can be found by taking the second y value of a set of points and subtracting from it the first y value. And then we have to compare that to the change in the x's of that line, which can be found by taking the second x value and subtracting from it the first x value. So what we're going to do to figure out what value goes where in our formula we are going to take our first point up here and call this x1 and y1. Remember, an ordered pair is simply an x value followed by a y value. And because this is our first set of x, y values, we're going to call this x1 and y1. And because this is our second point, we're going to call 8x2, and we're going to call this for y2. Now what we can do is plug everything into the formula where it belongs. So we're going to start with our y2, which is going to be positive 4. After that, we have to write the subtraction sign in our formula and then plug in whatever y1 is. And y1 is negative 4. All right, now we have to put our fraction bar here and substitute x2 with positive 8. And then we write a subtraction sign. And x1 is negative 4. Now the next thing that we have to do is simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator. Now remember, when you are subtracting a negative or have two consecutive negatives, we have to turn those both into positives. And we have the same thing on the bottom here. So let's just turn those into positives. So when we simplify the numerator, we really have 4 plus 4, which is 8. And for the denominator, we have 8 plus 4, which is 12. And then you've got to ask yourself, can you reduce what you have right here? And we have a change of y of 8 as compared to a change of 12 for the x's. And because 4 is a common factor of 8 and 12, we can reduce by a factor of 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. And... 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the slope of a line that passes through these two points is going to be a change of 2 compared to a change of 3. And we call this change of the y values the rise. And we call this change in x values the run. So for every two units that our line rises, it's going to move over to the right 3. And because this is positive, this is a positive slope. That just means as we look at the line from left to right, the line is going to be moving upwards. So it's going to go in this direction. Well, let's see what that would look like graphically. So a slope, the change in y can be defined as the rise. So let's take a look at this first point here. We are going to rise until we are directly across from this point over here. So starting here, moving upwards, from here to here would be a unit of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And from this point, we would move to the right. That would be our run. So starting here, which would be 0, to here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have a rise of 8 and a run of 12. So from here to here is our rise, and from here to here is our run. So this is a rise of 8 and a run of 12. But remember, we simplified this ratio of our rise to run from 8 to 12 to 2 to 3. So let's take a look and see what that would look like. So we're going to take a rise of just 2, and then we're going to take a run of 1, 2, 3. And notice that we hit the line perfectly. We don't 
overshoot the line or fall short of that line. We land exactly on that line. And from here, we could go up two more and then a run of three. Up two more, a run of three. Up two more, and a run of three, which would eventually put us to the second point in question, which is located at positive eight, positive four. And that is how you can find the slope of a line when you are given two points.